Well, I, I uh, haven't thought about it. Yeah, nobody's no contacted me. Nobody's talked to me. Uh, I know Andrew from the time he was a young boy, actually. <laughs> Andrew a very long time. Uh, and Mr. Palladino's never called me. I have no idea, you know, whether he even wants my endorsement. What, what, do, you, what do you think of him uh, so far? He's been all over the place. I haven't thought a lot about him. I mean, he's, he's new to me. I didn't know him before. And as I said, he never reached out to talk to me or ask me any questions. Or, well, so I have nothing. I know nothing about him. The question, the, the question has been about uh, with Mr. Palladino has been one of uh, style, really. He's been called brash. He's been called kind of. Uh, Gee, I, I used to be called that too. Oh, that's why. I, that's why I, <laughs> I don't. I, I never. I never make endorsements. Uh, please don't be insulted. Yeah. I don't want to insult you, but I never make endorsements or decisions, but based on the press. Right. <laughs> <laughs> every once in a while, every once in a while, the characterizations aren't accurate. It doesn't happen a lot, but every once in a while that happens. So you really have to get to know somebody before you can approach the idea of, can you endorse somebody, uh, can't you? And I don't know Mr. Palladino. Right. Mayor, and, and you, you, of course, considered a gubernatorial run. Does his win uh, make you regret your decision not running? Not at all. Uh, I never look back. I always look forward. And the reality is it would have been impossible for me to run this year.